guys, welcome to me reacting to. I attempted a speed run and got a world record by Jaden Animations. Now I have seen people do speed runs on the internet. I've seen Minecraft speed runs. I've seen Super Mario World speed runs, which are insane. And I don't know. I don't think I'd ever do a speed run of a video game, mainly because I don't really have that many video games I enjoy. I think. I think. You know, speedrunning a game takes a lot of time, and also you have to put in a lot of, like, effort into the game. As well as, like, I feel like if you want to speedrun a game, you'd have to love it a lot. Because, you know, you love the game so much that you'd want to play it endlessly and, like, try and get the best time. But, yeah, anyways, guys, originally in the description, make subscribe to Jaden Animations. And so in the description. Anyways, let's get right into it now. I think we all know the gist of what a speedrun is. Super Mario Bros. Like, hey! But there's so much more Same. that goes into it than what's on the surface. People spend hundreds of hours practicing well, yeah. games, finding optimal routes, discovering the most precise glitches that can save from minutes to just a few frames, which if you don't know is basically <laughs> risking your entire run just for a few milliseconds of time save. I've come to love yeah. Spirits, watching them at least. Something about them is really cool to me, and I think the community is really cool. It's all cool. I've been lurking and watching various speedrunners for a decent Sad. amount of time, and I decided those are some, that those I wanted are some to people do a speedrun. I think I've seen now, too. I don't really have the time to set aside hundreds of hours to hone my skill on whatever game I want, so I decided I had to do a blind speed run where I just play Dark it for the roll, first time Dark and Souls? try my best. I spent a few days racking my brain on what game I'd like to run. I like Pokemon. Uh, maybe I could run a Pokemon game. Uh, but that's a lot of researching and memorizing and luck. I could try a Mario oh, yeah, game. It's a popular Jesus. category, but uh, I don't know if it's for me. Then it hit me. The perfect game. Of Minecraft. course. Why hadn't I thought of it sooner? I ran to speedrun.com to check if anyone has run it yet. No one. None. I'm going to be the first person in the world to speed run Cooking Mama 2 Dinner with Friends. Cooking Mama? That I know of. Why did I choose Cooking Mama? Because Cooking dude, Mama. Cooking Mama is awesome. If you haven't played it, oh it's my a God. game where you follow steps to make food. That and game is mama. trash. The better you no, do, I'm the better score you get. Plus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the Cooking Mama fans, but food. I've seen food it doesn't wars. look like that good of a game. I know all the techniques and secrets. If you're under 18, don't look uh, it up. Why did I choose the second game and not the original? That's the one I bought. Duh. I used to play Cooking oh. Mama all the time as a kid with my friend Kate. I always thought Mama's English was really funny. Well, yeah, because it's like, it, I think it's a mix of a Japanese and English. Because that one had bad luck, obviously. I don't have that luxury this time because I have to stay by the computer. So I'll have to come up with a better strategy. Also, extra movements lose time. I need what? to be efficient here. Anyway, I wanted to have some sort of challenge, so I decided to add some rules to my run. Hey, One, fairly I have to odd fully parents. complete the main game mode, Cook with Mama. Two, I have to receive a gold medal on every single recipe. That means I can't make a mistake. Ever. Can't burn a single onion. Can't accidentally pour the rice into the sink. Can't smack my hand while pounding mochi. Oh, do, that? Yeah. The whole recipe needs to be redone. Three, <laughs> that's it. Do it fast, I guess. The first recipe is pizza, and I was off to a pretty good start. Obviously, oh, it's a so speed run, it's so another one of these gaming the videos. All right, I like these, stuff. to be but honest. For the most part, I was able I'm to glad she's sort of diving into like more gaming based content because it actually is really entertaining. Except in the last step where honestly. I didn't know how to work the oven and failed immediately. Because like again, it, up to because not only part. that, it's like it's a mix between a gaming video and a story time animation. I just love the mix because I think the mix between those two works so. Perfectly. Adapt, so overcome. honestly, it's Done. a really good Seabring mix. Carpaccio. It's a really good mix. Sorry that I'm talking chopping, over all this, but I, I just wanted to. I just want to add something. Corn soup. Ew. Bald the corn. Boil. Strain. Oh come on! Not all the corn came out. All right. Admittedly, I was making a lot of mistakes at the beginning. <sighs> I was nervous because it was my first speed run, and I didn't know what I had to do most of the time, and was generally panicking. But then I remembered that no Cooking Mama 2 speedruns exist yet, so that means I'm on world record pace, and that made me feel better. Oh, One yeah. I had to learn the hard way was when it comes to the oven, choose the low heat. The first attempt, I decided to what? go with the medium heat to go a little bit faster. And look at this! Oh, no! What was that? That was a speedrun in itself. 
burn the apple pie as quick as possible. You know how there's separate categories in speedruns? Mario Odyssey has the one where you take Mario's shirt off as fast as possible called nipple percent. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> called burn apple pie percent where you just burn the apple pie as quickly as possible. Anyway, I redid the pie and was moving on. Bonk. <laughs> Il rice bowl. We're about an hour in at this point. All I had right. my friends in a Discord call so they can help me take notes so I didn't have to rewatch all the footage again for the script. And they decided to look up how many recipes there actually were in the game. I didn't know because I wanted to go in completely blind. And you know what they discovered? There are a total of 80 recipes in this game. An hour oh. in, I was on recipe eight which would be impressive in real life, but not here. So either we were gonna pull a cooking mama all True. nighter, or I had to start picking up the pace. Sorry, shrimp, Ooh. this is gonna get violent. It wasn't perfect, and I was still making some mistakes, but I started getting into the zone. It helped that I was starting to well, get- Well, the thing is, is that like, and actually the main reason why he got the speed of the world the record is because there's none. Waffles, chili dog, meatloaf, lobster, I was one shot in all of them. I even put two mama flags on the lobster, which was a bit risky, but you know me, I live for the danger. I almost, I almost forgot to put the lobster on. <laughs> Let me pause and tell the story <laughs> okay, of my childhood. Okay, that's funny. I already mentioned my love for cooking mama as a kid. Even 12 years ago, oh, yeah. I set myself the goal of getting gold in all the recipes. But one haunting memory I have of this game was my struggle against the mama rice cracker. All the steps are relatively simple, but at the end Wait, you have what? to stamp all 18 crackers with a mama stamp. That's what makes the mama rice cracker the mama rice cracker. But as a kid, my DS was old and I dropped it a few times, which messed up the calibration on my screen in a way I couldn't fix. <laughs> so that meant at the very end of the recipe, it was extremely hard for me to stamp the stamp in the exact spot that mama wanted. I spent weeks, I'm not joking, trying to get the gold on the mama rice cracker. It was the last one I needed and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I'm pretty sure I was eventually able to pass, but let's just say I didn't for the sake of drama. Either way, oh. I was having PTSD. I was going through all oh. the steps, washing okay. the rice, putting the rice in the little hole, mochi pounding the rice scoop, and then it appeared. The screen that caused the most pain a video game could to a 10 year old. I was slowly making my way down the line Everything was going well. And then all of a sudden, on the 10th cracker, oh, no! I accidentally tapped the screen when I was lining up my pen, causing me to not brand the cracker enough. I'm not one to believe in spiritualism, what? star signs, or Destiny's Child, whatever that stuff Elmo. is. But that moment in particular made me question if it was all real and my only fate is to eternally fail the last step of the Mama Rice Cracker recipe until I inevitably die in an unaccomplished old man that makes ugly rice crackers. I did it right the next time, but that would have been unfortunate, right? With the oh. Mama Rice Cracker conquered, now nothing was in my way and I was making my way through the rest of the recipes. At the two hour, 37 minute mark, 27 recipes in. Uh, Ari got out of his cage and was running around the room, so I had to spend precious time getting him back under control. That was a loss of two minutes right there. Then I missliced the ravioli, so I'm blaming all of that misfortune on Ari. I actually struggled a lot <laughs> oh on the ravioli recipe. The pasta is really hard to cut because you have to time the splice with the line, but since I was so focused on when to cut, a lot of the time I would deviate from the actual line to cut from and mess up. Then when I was able Oof. to get past that stage, Oof. for some reason the mic had trouble hearing me blow so even though i was doing what i was supposed to i'd fail anyway is there gonna be an x here no yeah. i do you hear it overall i had to redo the ravioli recipe six times and i spent 11 minutes on it not great Thanks, Ari. But after that, I was able to oh one-shot both the cake and the Blaming spring rolls. Blaming your loss and on a bird, can we talk about how Jayden. the ice cream recipe literally just makes you scoop out store-bought ice cream and put sprinkles on it? <laughs> That's been my favorite recipe so far. Skipping forward a bit, let's talk about the mango pudding. This was ravioli part two. The first step I had trouble with was memorizing the order of the ingredients. It was a six part Simon Says memory game and my oh, smooth no, brain can only Simon handle says. one number at a time before the concept of object permanence leaves my body. I inevitably got a lucky pattern that was easy to remember. And after a few more steps, in oh. the end, I had to draw a line at a specific speed that would remove the pudding cleanly. Too slow and it wouldn't come out. Too fast and it just... 
for the life of me, I couldn't get the pacing right three consecutive times in a row. And with the combined difficulty of that, along with the memorizing, I spend another 10 minutes trying to get it right and still failing. My confidence was shattered and I had to take a mental health break. I'll be back for you, mango pudding. I'll come back stronger. And I'll Therapy. cook you so well, I'll become the mama. I was in shambles from the pudding, but was able to move on and started getting back into a rhythm. Except All these whiskey. foods, I was knocking them out one by one. I will note that I struggled with popcorn because I thought there was gonna be some sort of indicator or something on when to open the lid. So I just sat there until I realized I burnt it all. Oh wait. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll open it when I hear the popping sounds. And then I opened it with like five popcorns. <laughs> but it's okay, I was able to figure it out. Uh, Overall, the rest of the run went on yeah, without any uh, major problems. I don't I know why you would have to like, recipes, you know, the six do something hour, for popcorn. Mark, don't you just I only wait. had two recipes left. The bento box, and of course, the mango pudding. Time is ticking. We're in jo the Oh God, Jojo! Also, my Discord friends were ready to never. <laughs> was not talk expecting to me again. a Jojo I I could just reference. just get the bento box over in, with quickly in this video. Like, you just put food in box, right? Well, actually, I didn't realize I had to include food from all the categories Mama gave me or something. So I failed it like three times and was on the brink of insanity trying to figure out what Mama wanted from me. Put food <laughs> in a box, Mama. Is that what the algebra? That's what a bento box is. Food in box. What else do you need? Blood? A blood sacrifice? It didn't say anywhere in the oh, instructions God. that I should have put oh my more God. variety in there. Not that I was reading the instructions anyway. I still, right now, don't know what Mama wanted, but at least two? I finally got the gold. After Is that another JoJo minutes, reference? And I'm not just getting it. I only it. had one last <laughs> recipe. 79 were completed. Oh, no. The mango pudding was the only thing standing I'm between worried me for all the weeds and the first cooking Mama you know, to dinner with friends world record. I clicked it nervously, but I climbed my mountain. I trained with Mama, and I've come back a new chef. Peeling, slicing, blending, I was quicker than ever. There it was. The memorizing. I was doing well until... Then... No! <laughs> I restarted. I was sweaty and shaking. My brain was shutting down. My eyes had only been seeing Cooking Mama for the past six hours and four Hey, Megalovania, I saw that. It was sands. Every neuron in my skull was Cooking Mama. Every atom in the universe at that moment was Cooking Mama. But my next attempt, oh my god, oh Jesus, is this, is this the one? I nervously went through the rest of the recipe until I arrived at the last step. It's been about 3 hours and 15 minutes since I practiced removing the pudding from the mold. And to be honest, I don't remember the removal. It took 3 story. hours at that? Or First is that one, just in total? Second one. She messes it up. Let's oh, never mind. Go! I got all the puddings out flawlessly. I waited until the results to confirm it. Boom. 100 points on the mango pudding. Stop the timer. I did it. At long last, all 80 recipes in Cooking Mama 2 gold. In 6 hours, 47 minutes, and 27 seconds. Holy shit. There might be some room for improvement there. Overall, I had a really fun time with the speed run. It's not even close to a good run, and the time can easily be halved, but I still pride myself in Gamer. knowing I was the first one to complete and document the Cooking Mama 2 all gold percent, and also burnt apple pie percent. If there's any speed <laughs> out there wanting to try and take my crown, uh, I'll share some speed strats I thought of during the run. If you complete the steps too quickly, you get a bonus, and at the end of the recipe, if you get five bonuses, you receive a gift that you can't reject or skip, which loses a lot of time. You're smothering me, Mama. So if you can get no bonuses within the entire game, you'd be saving a lot of time. Another tip is <laughs> if you're gonna mess up the recipe, uh, don't mess up the last step, because if you do, you have to wait through Mama giving you your score and clapping for you and being like, yeah, it's almost perfect. And the whole time you're like, yes, Mama, I know it's not perfect. I dropped an egg. And then she gives <laughs> you like three presents in a row because you got too oh. many bonuses. And you're just screeching at her to shut up the whole time. Oh, I didn't discover God. any glitches that would save time, unfortunately. Uh, 
I don't know what a cooking mama glitch would look like, but it doesn't sound pleasant. But it doesn't matter because oh. as of this moment oh, right oh my here, God. I'm the one with the cooking mama two dinner with friends world. Yeah, right just now. wait until this video is out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> after all. Anyway, thanks for watching my first attempt at this. Yeah, game. everybody's I now gonna try it because of this I video. I should have chosen a game that could have been done in a few less hours because I feel like I aged 20 years after this. But eh, you live and learn. Oh, okay. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, this was a funny video. I, I really enjoyed it. The animation was really good. The comedy was good. Honestly, I just think the idea of mixing gameplay videos with story time animations is such a good idea. And I'm glad that Jaden is actually like doing it because it actually it works. It actually is a good idea and it actually works because it's enjoyable because... Not only that, the relatability is there, but also the gaming aspect is really entertaining to watch. So that's why I love. That's why I love it. Honestly, it, it, she makes really good content. If you guys want to subscribe to Jaden Animations and you haven't, which I find that weird, uh, uh, the links in the description. And yeah, honestly, this was a really good video. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the vlog, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.